In the race to save people trapped under rubble after a disaster, every minute counts. As time passes, the chances of survival drop and death tolls climb. Teams have to locate victims as quickly as possible in a shifting, unstable landscape. A European and Japanese project called Cursor has developed a platform to reduce risk. The new technology, we are aiming to increase the safety of first responders, providing remote uh, access to the worksite, remote uh, uh, working conditions. And secondly, uh, with the technology, we are improving the, the, the speed of uh, detecting victims. The Cursor project seeks to streamline search and rescue by combining different technologies as elements in a single integrated system. For work on the ground, the researchers developed what they called soft miniaturized underground robotic finders, or SMURFs. The SMURFs is this kind of robot here um, that is equipped with different cameras like RGB cameras, two pieces, uh, we have thermal cameras and we also have lights on so that we can take this robot into a collapsed building and search for victims. In the future, clusters of the semi-autonomous little robots could penetrate deep into collapsed buildings, outfitted with chemical noses that help them sniff out survivors. As the Smurfs roll into the wreckage, they'll also receive information from sensors called geophones, placed by emergency personnel to listen for survivors. They can detect sounds like regular tapping or voices in shallow rubble. Activities extend into the sky with special drones hovering in the air above the disaster site. Some are designed to map it in three dimensions. Others carry ground-penetrating radar to detect empty spaces and piles of rubble that might house survivors. Still others are designed to carry and drop smurfs right where they're needed. And finally, there's a larger mothership drone to coordinate activities between the different elements in the system. The platform still needs some work, though. Due to the fact that we have such a complex uh, technologies and, and different maturity of uh, technologies, then uh, it's difficult to say when exactly these components are on the market. Earthquakes like the one in Turkey and Syria claim thousands of lives, but Cursor and other search and rescue projects like it are working to make a difference one day for at least some of the victims trapped beneath the rubble.